Hey everybody, welcome back. So in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that one of my summertime projects was going to be build a small RC car, a little crawler, that looks exactly like my old Jeep CJ7. And by that I mean all the roughness and ugliness as well as all the cool things I like about it. And that's what I'm going to do with this. I bought this off Banggood. It's very inexpensive, about 50 bucks. WPL seems to be a good brand name. There are, I did some research. There are replacement parts. And shows you more about it here. This is supposed to be a whole thing. I've never had it open. It's still sealed. You can see it's... So I don't, I don't know if it's assembled. I don't know what's going on. And this is what it is. Now, some of you are going to ask me why I bought this one. Because... I want to make a vehicle that looks like mine, which means I don't want monster this or huge that. And I wanted, and I don't know whether this makes any sense or not. I don't know enough about this to tell you for sure. I wanted to buy one that the vehicle that it's based on is roughly the same wheelbase as mine. And the Land Rover FJ40, if I remember right, these are like within a couple inches of the same length of a CJ7. So that means a printed body. I won't have to stretch it out in length or have something that looks misshapen. So that's what this is. That's why I chose this one. And of course it didn't cost much and it actually gets pretty decent reviews. I mean this is a toy. I'm not going to go racing or crawling or bashing or leaping at 100 feet in the air. So... I just want to cruise it around a little bit. So let's get it out. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what I got. And let's get the battery charged up and make sure it actually works before I start trying to do anything with it. Oop. I was hoping that it opened up in some kind of display format. And if we look at the box, yeah. Not much. I think this thing is supposed to come with everything. I mean, I don't think I'm supposed to have to buy anything. How does this box open? I guess it's just a tray that slides out. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm sure it's upside down because that's what I do. Oh, look, looks, looks fully assembled, doesn't it? That's kind of scary. I mean, I'm happy I didn't want to have to assemble it. I hope I can get that body off without wrecking it because I actually do think that's pretty cool. I've never owned a Land Crusher. When I was a young guy looking at Jeeps, certainly this Land Crusher was one that I was certainly interested in wanted, but I'm just I got a Jeep and I wanted a Bronco too. I wanted an early Bronco and I couldn't find one of those. I did find the CJ7 and I've never looked back. It looks like the doors even open. Do the doors open? Looks like there's some small assembly on it. It's actually pretty cool looking. Oh yeah, look, we got um, we got some mirrors and some other crap and oh, some decals. I'm not even going to put any of this on. I don't think. What do we got here? A um, yeah, mirrors. All right, let's get that to one side. There's the controller. That's pretty basic. I've never run one of these in my life. So um, I guess that's trim on off. This is steering. This is go and reverse. Cool. There's the battery. The battery actually goes under the hood, which I think is kind of cool. Let's, um, it's got two plugs. It's got two plugs. I thought I was going to have to read the instructions, but no, I'm not. Only one plugs in. So yeah, I'd like to go. Oh, it's got suspension on it, too. Another reason I, I like this one was because it looks like a, a real vehicle with differentials and drive shafts. And I know they all have that, but some of them don't look nor Things aren't in the normal places. Let's get some of this crap out of the way. That didn't work out like I wanted, did it? I'm going to open this little bag up just so I can lose everything in it right away and not have to worry about it later. Is there anything in here I really need right now? Decals. There's some, oh, windshield wipers and that kind of stuff. 
Um, here's a little charging cable, little USB charging cable. Here's the little windshield wipers and other little odds and ends. Some stickers I'll probably won't bother ever using. There's more stickers. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever bother using those. And we got some lighting. And they don't, the lights on. I don't think the lights on this one actually work. And a little screwdriver. And I don't know what these are. I don't know what those are. Suppose I could read the instructions, but um, yeah, I don't want to. And what's what do we need for here? Oh, looks like I gotta take the side cover off. Well, I'm gonna get batteries in this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got batteries in it. Batteries are real easy. There's one screw, and they go under this side thing. There's an on-off switch on the top. I'm sure you guys already know all this. And there is an on-off switch under here as well. I'm starting to not feel too bad about wanting to get rid of this body. It's pretty cheap. Um, but I have not charged the battery, but it obviously goes. That's pretty cool. And, um, I think this will be a perfect donor. It is about the right size. Remember, I live in a... I live in a really small house. But I do have a nice, rough war-torn looking backyard so it might be kind of fun for that. You know what? Let's take it back there and play with it. I know it's not even fully charged yet but um, let's go tear stuff up. Watching me break it before I ever get to do anything else with it. That might be fun too though, huh? Okay, there it is and there's the vehicle I want it to end up looking like and um, my basically my whole backyard is an obstacle course so Oh, it's got lights on it. I just now noticed that. Pretty cool. Bear with me. I've never used one of these before, so... Whoa! Oops! <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to feel too bad at all getting rid of that body. It's pretty cheap. I mean, it looks good, but it is pretty cheap. <laughs> I drive like that in real life, too, by the way. It's 108 out here if I didn't mention it, so I'm not planning on staying out here for long. Okay, well this has been this has been a lot of fun really, but um, it's 108 out. I'm going back inside. So, what is my initial impression of the WPL Toys C34 RC car? Well, it comes fully assembled. It works right out of the box. All you really need to do is charge the battery and have a couple of um, double A's for the controller. Is it inexpensive? Absolutely it is. It's not fast either, but it does crawl around pretty good. I have used it quite a bit here in the past few days. Some outside, but mostly inside because of that right there. But um, I think it'll be fine for my purposes, which is to take that body off 
and 3D print a Jeep body for it and still have it be able to crawl around and have some fun with it. So stay tuned for that. I want to get that done while you saw what the temperature is like outside because I don't want to go out there. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you're looking forward like I am to the transformation into a CJ7. Sorry Land Cruiser guys, but um, it's going to be a CJ7 I think. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.